one works. Let's play some techno battle on. Hopefully, well, let me turn on this volume mixer just in case. But hopefully, hopefully, I don't have to mess with the sound settings. Cappuccino here. All right, it's it's sounding okay. Like, not too loud. A techno Babylon. Oh my god, my mouse sensitivity. Okay, I lowered it. Uh, store. Alright, well this was the last, this was the end of stream save, so it was the last time I played it. I forgot what the heck I was doing, but we'll just stumble through. Oh, good, that's, that's good. Oh. Let the game crash for a second. All right. So I'm here. Wetware, photograph, genome data. Got my jolt gun. I got my traveler. So if I remember correctly, I, I was here because this guy is the dude that made Link. I mean, not Link. I'm sorry. That's beyond the steel sky. He made whatever the hell the cyber. You should have made an appointment. Is. Okay. Doctor Vargas. I'd like to ask you a few questions, if I may. Certainly, my dear. Anything I can do to help. Oh my god, I got a lot of questions. Alright, this is probably why I chose this as, like, a, neat, um, a stopping point. What what exactly do you do, Dr. Vargas? I mean, seriously. Alright, maybe the volume might be a little too loud. Let's what see. What would you describe your role here as, Dr. Vargas? This is publicly available information, Dr. Lau. Now, Galatea, Just look at his wiki. it is a reasonable question. For the past 18 years, I've held the role of controller of centralized government. I ensure that Central, our city government, CI, is functioning within parameters. What would you say your political function within the city is? God. Not at all. Oh. The elected council formulates city policy. It is merely Central's role to execute this and ensure the day-to-day -day well-being of the city. And it is fa- Dr. Vargas's role to maintain Central's operations. Oh, you're gonna call him on his Surely first you're name, already huh? aware of this, Dr. Lau. Just wanted to get it from the source. Yeah. Sometimes our desire to remain outside the political spectrum has led to rumors. Like we're some we kind are of not, Illuminati. However, the secret puppet masters behind the government. You guys are totally the secret puppet I shouldn't puppet count masters. you as my boss, then. Dr. Lau. <laughs> Heavens no, my dear. If anything, we are equals on an administrative footing. Central acts as director for both of our operations, though. Okay. Right, let's see. Maybe I Thank can mess you, with Dr. the sound Anything I... Sound volume. I'm assuming that this is all the sound, like... Commentary. Oh, check that out. Hey, we can... What is text flow? Oh, no. Screw that. Speech hold. Speech text remains until player clicks. Okay, no. Oh, you can change the speed. Well, the speed's fine. I don't need to do that. Let's see. I, I, all right. I'm gonna use. I'm gonna change the sound with the uh, Windows mixer because that ensures that I keep the same like sound mix with the volume and stuff. Doesn't need to be that much. Just a little bit lower. Let's try it now. Da -da -da. Also, let's check it out. Okay, on the screen, it's not too bad. In other words, my webcam doesn't really cover or change anything because the game is in a 4x3. I could go to my other uh, classic game setup to do it, but screw it, this, people like this. PC games, you know. All Dr. Right. Vargas, I'd like to ask you a few questions, if I may. Certainly, my dear. Anything I can do to help. Oh, all right, we got a lot of questions here. How long have you known Dr. Regis? Since, uh, 2067. He joined a research project of mine. The name of the place, a good man, Babylon 5. Very principled. And now? I have no doubt goodness remains. Though since joining Cell, I feel that he expresses this solely through his work. Do you know about his garden on tier 42 of this building? Ah, yes. I've been there myself a couple of times. It's on the tree. Though I hope we can keep that between us, Dr. Lau. What? What did you think of it? It is certainly an interesting way of coping with grief. 
though that it has lasted so long is perhaps cause for concern. He turned his wife into a tree. That, it's like a Greek tragedy. What else can you tell me about this incident? What can you tell me about this incident? Currently not a great deal, hence why you have been tasked with this investigation. Dr. Baxter has been found murdered in his workplace, and Dr. Regis was caught entering and leaving the facility by their security infrastructure. How about a background to the case? A history? Baxter has been responsible for the murder of Viksha Regis. Charles Regis's wife. He was caught and convicted, and until recently had been serving a sentence for the crime. In case you weren't paying attention the whole game. He had recently been paroled with the Vickerman Corporation as his sponsor. I can only imagine Regis's feelings on the matter. Violent, no doubt. But I knew Charlie Regis, and I know what kind of man he was. He was a brief Justice man. Justice is his Not motivator, a boxer, man. but with his background, out in the hot zone, you worry that this might have been his idea of justice? Precisely. That, my dear, is why I need you to investigate this case before Central jumps to any conclusions to the matter. You mentioned Regis's wife, Viksha. Hey, ah, what's yes. up, Never Cocker? How are you doing? She was a student of mine in the 50s in Buenos Aires. She spent several years working for the UN in hot zones around the world. Waste of when time, finished, I say. She was the natural choice for the project I was just commencing. He never really spoke about her. They were very much in love. It pains me greatly to see a man so afflicted by a loss. She was a engineer as well? Yes and no. She specialized in organic computing. A field okay. perhaps more closely aligned to your own. So computers with human brains, or like, uh, organic processors? All these questions. Though Regis has an obvious motive, can you think of anyone else who might have a reason to do this? I shall be honest, Dr. Baxter was not an easy man to work with. There were many who disliked him in his time, though none I knew could Oh, you got it. your birthday's coming up? Enemy. Well, happy birthday, Never Conquer. Hope you have fun. That one day a year where you where you get where it's all about you. Project Regis Regis's. Oh, with the Regis's. Okay, yeah, it makes sense. Cause... You mentioned a project that Viksha was recruited for. I'm afraid that's classified. Galatea, how can we help if we block every question? It was a project that utilized the expertise of both Viksha and Charles. Essentially, we were studying organic interfacing and large-scale computing. Large-scale, as in city coordination intelligences, like Central? Or Link? On this matter, I can answer no further. Beyond the steel sky! Okay, Baxter. <laughs> what was your opinion of Dr. Baxter? As a scientist, 20 years ago, he was peerless in his field. But as a human being? He a total dick. did not take refusal oh. well. This apparently is what led to his breakdown. And the murder that followed that. Precisely. I have not spoken to him personally since the trial, however. I'm afraid I couldn't enlighten you. Oh, about Twitch scene? Okay, that's mind. cool. Well, I might stop by. I don't know, though. I can't make any promises, because Sunday is a work day. But then again, today is a work day as well. But Sunday's going to be weird, because we're going back to the normal schedule. Or we're kind of going back to the normal schedule. Like, I have to go in at 9 instead of 8, and then on Monday it'll be 10. Baxter's body. I examined Dr. Baxter's body at the laboratory. What did you find? He's been decapitated. His head smashed in. My goodness. I've taken initial readings, but they're proving inconclusive. Even time of death. The lab's environment is throwing the chromatographs. Once he's been moved to cell for autopsy, we should get a clearer picture of what happened. But definitely good luck on the stream. Like, have a good stream on that. I'm just going through all the options. Dr. Vargas, I really need to ask. In my office, why did you cut Central's feed? That's classified, Dr. Lau. Everything's classified. I'm afraid I cannot give you a complete answer on that subject. 
But I don't the trust Central. factors regarding yesterday's network attack have raised oh, concerns. Fair enough. Not least the timing. It may be that Central's administration has been compromised. You believe it's linked to Baxter's murder? What makes you say that? You cut the camera when talking to me about it. You were concerned that whoever may have compromised Central would find out what we were discussing. Ha! Well, I have no fear of the quality of Cell's investigative staff now. I learned from the best. Well, let's, let's kiss his ass after that. It's huh? a fantastic view from up here. Isn't it? That's why I choose to work from up here. The only part higher in Fulcrum Tower is Central's operating center. You could probably see all the way to Mombasa on a clear day. So, so the AI artificial intelligence that runs the whole city looks upon it like a god. There is nothing higher than it. I hate your I'm assistant. I'm certainly aware of your role in the city, Dr. Vargas. But who is your lovely assistant? <laughs> of course, you haven't been properly introduced. This is my daughter, oh. Galatea. She fills the role of my administrator. At least support. she's not his lover. I'm being groomed for succession, apparently. Oh, don't put it like that. You make it sound so uh, dynastic. That certainly is not what we wish to represent. What was your field before going into politics? I was a computer scientist and a lecturer at Buenos Aires. In the 60s, the government of Newton was looking for research administrators. It eventually transpired that this role in itself was a kind of test. The city council was looking for suitable individuals to manage Newton's new CI. Central? Yes and no. It was what eventually became Central. Mind jacking. All right, so this is like way beyond just a simple like guy mind jacking minds. This this has something to do with like the founding of Central. Dr. Vargas, have you heard of mind jacking? Excuse it's me. It's like mind jacking. I'm afraid I have not, Dr. Lau. What is it? It's the case Regis and I were working on lately. A number of individuals had their brains flash wiped by a destructive copying technique. That sounds most appalling, Dr. Lau. Does it pertain to this case? Not that I'm aware of, sir. It might give someone a reason to frame Regis, though. Especially if they thought that we were getting too close. So, perhaps Regis is a victim of attempted character assassination. To use Baxter as a means of doing so would be drastic. Why don't you believe that Dr. Regis is responsible for Baxter's death? I cannot say for certain that he is not, Dr. Lau. I simply hold on to the hope that he is not. Should I, should I tell him about the message? Ask My investigation has brought up an interesting find. It appears that while he was at the lab, Regis took the time to alter some of the specimens there. Really? That is most peculiar. He put his, the wife, Even more the, so, his, the DNA of his dead wife and everything. The quaternary data string in the genomes of these subjects. What does the data contain? An audio-visual message, but it's still fragmented. I believe that Regis was trying to leave a message directed at myself regarding what happened. This is a remarkable find, Dr. Lau. Please, continue your work. This may clear up what really happened in that laboratory. While I was speaking to Dr. Chigwa, she told me about Central. Apparently, both Charlie and Victor Regis were involved in its creation. Dr. Lau, that's classified. I believe we can trust her, Galatea. Indeed, I brought Viksha onto the project at its inception. She recommended Charlie. They were not married at this stage. This is unbelievable. He doesn't exactly have a high regard for Central. I suppose I can sympathize. It is an unhappy association for him. Yet he will not allow himself the glorious reputation and history he deserves as one of those who created Central, an AI like none before. Thank you, Dr. Vargas. You've been most helpful. Anything I can do to help. Yeah, I think Regis got shafted, man. Like, this guy gets to live in this... Or, like, his office is this high tower overlooking the whole city. I'm glad I had my fear of heights turned off. You can do that? Oh my god. Regis, he just, he works as basically a beat cop. How did I plan on doing that? What, looking at the painting? Oh. You can right click wow. on things. what a view. You could probably see all the way to Mombasa on a clear day. 
Watches you keenly as though she thought you might break something of unsupervised. I never thought the controller of centralized government would look so human. Right, let's talk to Galatea. Oh, I can't talk. Okay. So I got DNA sampler. I got genome data. Maybe the photograph. Look at this photograph. What do you think of this? Poor Charlie. They were very much in love. Hmm. What do you think? Nope. Sorry. Okay. Use jolt gun. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like before I do that. As much as I love shocking things, I don't think it'll help. As much as I. Ah. Uh, wetware. Meld with them. Wetware's not going. Ah. Uh, meld with the picture. Wetware's not. Yeah. Okay. Fine. What else can I click on? Got a pixel hunt, you know, that's the name of the game. Da, da, da. Sample their DNA! What is this genome data? Audio recording made out of the data reaches. Okay, cool. Wait, maybe. Oh! Listen to this. He's been dead for only a month in the hospital. Well, case. Good luck. I'm missing two. I'm going to need to find things. where he's hidden the rest of the message before I get any sense out of it. Right, can I can I equip it? No. All right, time to take Vargas's DNA. <laughs> he just stood there and let me do it. Take the DNA it of this painting. Any... Oh, fine. <laughs> okay, there's no plants here or anything I could take DNA from. All right, well, a lot of exposition. That's pretty much what happened here. An elevator straight to his office. I can go back to cell, but I don't think there's anything there. Let's try it. Let's try to finish the puzzle. Which is me getting DNA from plants. Though I don't... I think I might have to go back to cell HQ, because there is this one guy that's, like, really stupid. Excuse me, Dr. Chigwa. Make it quick. I'm busy. Okay, good. Yeah, I might need a reminding... How this works so here. how do I build more of the message you've got to use the sampling tool to get DNA from the plants around the lab the sampler can take three readings before it needs to be reloaded in some areas of the lab the atmospheric controls will prevent the reading being taken apparently he wants me to find certain samples I've got to think about where I'm gonna find them darn right we've got a whole lot of a right now is right. that all for now then if you'll so, I believe it has to do with her name. Like, like the samples I need to get have something to do I'm with, going to like, need to find where he's hidden the rest of the message before I get any sense out of it. Like, there were certain letters, but I forgot what they were. Hold on. Here, maybe I should just call Regis. Hey, what's up, Core? How are you doing? Open case file. Pick up, you bastard. Hey. No answer. Give me a minute. Oh, damn it. Wouldn't that be great? You could just skip the whole puzzle by calling him. It's like, but I laid down this whole, like, esoteric puzzle involving plants and shit for you. It's like, yeah, exactly. Found dead by co-workers. Suspect is Regis. I know this is gonna sound stupid, but I've totally forgot what, um... I got two cases. Alright, so I gotta deal with that. Cause, like, it has to do with Lau's name. But I forgot what her name is. And there's... I guess there's no way to check my email on my phone without going back to the office. Alright, let's look at this. Maybe I can remember. It was like Seed or something, right? M-A-L-A -A. I'm going to need to find where he's hidden the rest of the Or something, I don't know, whatever. Excuse Let's talk me, to people. Make it quick. I'm... I need to ask Meester about the tampered specimens. How do I cure his aphasia? 
Well, you wouldn't really cure it. He doesn't actually have the disease. It's essentially wetware designed to occupy the Wernicke and Broca regions of the brain. This then produces the symptoms of the disease. That's what they're going for. I can't wait a week for the wetware to break down. Find a way to break it down early then. If we've got an emergency contamination, we use hydroxypyruvate isomerase. It's an enzyme that instructs the fabricators and wetware to disassemble themselves. Where can I get some of that? Oh, we use this one thing, this blah blah blah. And it's like, oh, okay, that's cool. Where, where is that? I can't get into the airlock. The airlock and the growth lab are secure areas. We grow potentially hazardous organisms beyond those doors. I'm trying to conduct an investigation here. Don't make me get a warrant from Central. I'm sorry, Central would likely agree with us. We can't just give anyone access to the growth lab. Not they even get really cell high. Agent. I'd need a pretty damn good reason. That's where we make the best stuff. I mean, they, they are like in pharmaceuticals. That's, that's really all they're doing is making drugs. Come on, let's face it. I wonder why Regis hid a message inside the DNA of these plants. DNA's been used as a data storage medium before. Rather than on-off binary, I mean, you've DNA seen would Metal be Gear. quaternary bits. Adenine, guanine, thymine, and cytosine. If he just left a message on one of the systems, though, or Need even on paper, okay. <laughs> then someone could have destroyed or erased it. Short of burning down the entire lab, they'd have no way to be sure they destroyed a message hidden like this. Especially yeah, since he scrambled Regis. so many you of the other wrote samples it down. camouflage. Send he needs me an to make email. sure it's found. And based on the layout, he wants me to find it. Have you found anything else with added genetic data? As a matter of fact, I have. There was a batch of Orchidacea isotria in the growth lab, and... And? Hmm. I can't remember exactly which specimen the other was. I do remember that it had blue flowers, okay, I've already broad saw that one. and very, very small fruit. I think I have to get into that airlock. Or talk to that dude. Is that but, all? But now, I have to cure his aphasia. Readouts. Better not. Drone. It might tell the lab director. What? What were you gonna do to the drone, Lau? Going into production. Yo. Um. Well, I got no way of curing him because I don't have the drug or whatever that she specified. And there's this toolbox though. Picked up growth matrix. I think I'd put that in his toolbox, right? Hey, hey, let wait. Let's go talk to what's her face about it. What is this stuff? Better trans up some data on it. One of the only known examples of extraterrestrial life was first discovered on Tarsus Comet. Okay. Similar in many respects to terrestrial fungi, this is believed by some an example of convergent evolution and. This, okay, in, in any case, it is extremely rapid growth in Earth's atmosphere possesses severe ecological risk. Well, it's highly sought after for study samples are closely controlled, posing an obstacle to research. To prevent accidental germination, the organism is stored as a growth matrix, growing only in carefully controlled laboratory environments. This helps to reduce the risk of what some have termed the most mundane alien invasion imaginable. The growth matrix won't start in that. Am I trying to build the growth matrix? The growth matrix. Let's put it in his toolbox. Sure. You better not lose it. I don't know why we're putting the growth ma matrix in his toolbox. We're putting these pipes With the caveat. All right, all right. I won't touch them. How do I s save his... <laughs> Hi there. And so the evil regularly laughed at deadly hair. What happened here? The light at the end of the tunnel would die for a grapefruit. I see. All right, I yeah, I got a cure. What time do we think we want it to be? There's no way I'm going to figure out anything without curing this guy. So there's that production line. Warning. Security clearance not valid for access to growth lab. 
Vickerman Pharmaceuticals thanks you for your cooperation. But why, like, if, I don't know, Regis, like, if you're gonna leave a message, like, why put it in the airlock part? That's, the, that means I have to solve another puzzle to get in the airlock, man. Warning, Vickerman. Uh -huh. Oh my god. Alright, so I'm gonna go back to Central. Maybe I can figure. Oh, red I flower better tree. Not. If I start taking every single specimen, I'll be here for days. I'm missing two specimen samples. I'm thinking they're behind the airlock, or I gotta talk to. Uh, what was his name? Nestor? I forget. Whatever. Let's go back to the HQ. Maybe I can get the, the drug to, to, say, to cure him. I guess not, because I'm- I'm only in my office. Better not pull the tape off the camera. It would upset Regis. Right, okay. Regis' desk, let's rifle through it. There's nothing in here. Not even, like, that dude's hand? No, nothing there. What's in the wastebasket? Oh, we got cables. Yeah, I got the- oh. I left the growth matrix there, son of a bitch. I don't think the growth matrix works here, but I, I guess I could have, like, put it in the main, nah, maybe? I've already got it set up just right. Right, whatever. Why does it allow me to click hog them, then, if I don't nah, do anything I've, with them? The desk terminals don't have enough bandwidth, so I made a few modifications. All strictly professional, of course. Right. Now she can watch all the streams she wants. I see, now I can check my email. The future! Boip. Oh. Max Lau. Okay, so that's her name. So that's, the, like... Those are the samples I need. Is M-A-X-L-A-O. I remember her name, uh, Vargas. Yeah, I already downloaded those case files. Uh huh, there's that from her family. Thank you for the summary of the so called mind jacking. Okay, whatever. Alright, so I've already checked that stuff out. These are the two case files I've already looked at. So there's not much I can really do here. Thought I could get the. Either that, or maybe I'm supposed to synthesize the drug myself. Got to wait till the AI lab have had their turn analyzing her. Then she's all mine. You're one sick puppy, Lau. I gotta say. She's expensive. I wonder if I can persuade Regis to let us keep her. You know, I'm data. Wetware. I got wetware. Yeah, Wetware's not this. going. Oh, what about the maid? Got to wait till the AI. Oh. What about these Wetware's screens? What, what, what's the point of wetware, then? Nah, I... I got wetware, I can hack something. Don't know what, but apparently something. Alright, well, back to the crime scene! <laughs> Doop -de -doop. <laughs> Pharmaceutical labs. Yeah, I'm back. I know, I know, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. So, uh, let's get back into this. So, the genome thing. I need an X and an O. I'm going to need to find... It's the D. I need to take samples. Okay. What, what is the sample? Is this, is this an O? I've taken a DNA sample. I've probably already done this, I just forgot. So possibly I've these taken are, a these have already been like been, like sampled. I've taken a DNA But you know, might as well, right? Might as might as well do everything. I'm going to need to find where he's hidden the rest of the message before I get any. Yeah, but like, doesn't. I, I've taken some samples. 
There we go. Looks like Regis didn't hide any data in that one. Alright, well this screen's clear. Oh, never mind. Looks like Regis did Gotta go through the, all, all of them. Looks like Regis... Okay. So, there's nothing in the plants here. And I'm pretty sure I've done the plants in this area. Yellow... Ah, screw it. Let's just do all the plants. Fuck it. I've taken it. Red plants, red plants. I've taken it. I've taken it. I've taken a DNA sample from it. That's the one I already had, though. Yeah, I already had that one. So I'm missing two of them. I'm going to need to... Wait, 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 whoa, whoa. So, let's see. Maybe I can get the chemicals needed to cure this dude? Excuse me. Make it... I need to ask Meester about the tampered specimens. How do I cure his aphasia? Well, you wouldn't really cure it. He does. It's essentially wetware uh, designed to occupy the Wernicke and broken so regions I use of the brain. This then produces the symptoms of. I can't wait a week for. Find a way to break it down early then. If we've got an emergency contamination, Hydro... we use hydroxypyruvate isomerase. Okay. It's an enzyme that instructs. Hydroxypyruvate. Is that all? Whatever. Now. Then if. You... All right. Let's see if I can get my hands on that. What's up, Luelu? How are you doing? I got my growth matrix back. I don't know why I have it. <laughs> um, let's attempt this plan here. Wetware's not going. Of course. I have wetware. Wait, maybe I can hack some systems with it? Oh, I'm doing alright. I'm just doing a little it's gaming before I go to work. But I got two hours, so hopefully I can make some headway in this. Let's go to the seed bank. What was that thing? Aproximu Ipulavas or whatever? Fuck it. So this dead guy. Details, inner system. Uh. Oh, and I think it's here though. Yeah, I mean, you could brute force this puzzle, but still, I have to get into that one, uh, bank. Okay, so there's no way I can get the... the chemicals to help that guy. Yeah, it's- 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 it's in the vein of Beneath the Steel Sky. It even has an- an artificial intelligence that controls the whole city, similar to Link. Hazard lacks. So wait, pound on asteroids. Okay, so so obviously that growth thing is something I have to do deal with. Same developers? I don't think so. But I I definitely know it's like it's definitely heavily inspired by the by it has that beneath the steel sky kind of look to it. I heard they're making a sequel to this game though, but it's not going to be like like this. It's going to be like fully 3D. Which, you know, I mean, that's good, but, like, half the charm of this game is the way that it looks like it's an, it's an adventure game from the 90s. But at the same time, I can see that they want to, like, build the audience, you know, and, like... And they, they obviously made enough money from this game and, like, another game they made. I think they also made Resonance. Now 
Nothing unusual found on the body, Central. What is your estimation of the incident, Dr. Lau? There's too much we can't say for sure. We don't know precisely when Baxter was murdered. We can't even be sure that this was the cause of death. That is a fair assessment. A clearer picture will no doubt follow the autopsy. Don't send in anyone yet. I still need to carry out a preliminary. I understand. Continue your investigation of events surrounding the incident. Understood. Lau out. I hope I can find something to get Regis off the hook. Might be able to find it. Update what Central. Right what is your estimation of the incident, Dr. Lau? There's too much we can't say for sure. We don't know I precisely still know when absolutely Baxter was nothing. We can't even be sure that this was the cause of death. That is a fair assessment. A clearer picture will no doubt follow the autopsy. Don't send in anyone yet. I still need to carry out a preliminary. I understand. I mean, he's missing a head. You think Regis just, just came in and the incident. beat him, to, beat him like to death with no I head? I hope I can find something to get Regis off the hook. I can't take a DNA sample. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, there's nothing else to click on but this. That the gameplay has improved? I don't think there's really much you can do. I mean, other than like puzzle, puzzle solving. Like, there's not much you can really do with adventure games without like, I mean, unless you don't make them point and click, you know, like maybe you make them more like Shinmu-esque. I feel like the the puzzles are similar to Beneath the Steel Sky. They're not like too difficult, <coughs> except for this one. This one I'm I'm pretty much clueless about. But it still comes down to pixel hunting, and maybe there's like a hotkey to find like certain things that I can like, you know, activate in the scene. Though at least the graphics are a lot better. I can like. You know, it's, it's a little bit more obvious on what I can click on and what I can't click on. Dome. Yellow blooms. Reduction line. There's this pipe that I can't do anything with because he stops me. Can I click on any of this computer stuff? Top of the line pricey stuff, but I claim it as a work expense. Here's some wetware. Wetware's not going... Dang it. Well, we're just not going to connect with this toolbox either. You better not lose it. So I can just put random crap in his toolbox? What would I put in his toolbox, though? Yeah, it's definitely, like, the tone of Beneath the Steel Sky is, is definitely comical. There's serious stuff that happens in it, but it's, it's more comical. The writing in this one's a little bit more serious. But it still has a robot its, romantically its sense of humor. screaming pile of biscuits. All right, all right, I won't touch them. And especially with this guy. This guy apparently gave himself aphasia, so he can't. For now, he basically, the part in his brain that thinks and then goes into language is screwed up. Which means that like everything he says is complete gibberish. I know this because I of an episode of Star Trek: episode. Deep Space Nine. That's how I know what aphasia is. I give up. Wondrous all lies ahead. What would the future yet to come? Because there was a whole episode where, like, everyone in the crew, because of the wormhole or something, were getting aphasia. So they would just start talking gibberish, but there was nothing wrong with them. They could still think. They just couldn't, like, uh, communicate. Like, verbally or through text, it would just come out garbled. I got, I got this crap here. Maybe, maybe I can combine it with other stuff? Oh. Growth matrix. It's only compatible with the sampler tour. What's up, Besson? How you doing? It's only compatible with the sampler tour. It won't take a DNA sample from the growth matrix. Maybe it needs a bigger specimen? Okay. How would I get it's a bigger the DNA specimen? I need to... It won't take a DNA. Maybe it needs a bigger specimen. All right, okay. So I combine the growth matrix with something. I can't get into the airlock. The growth matrix won't. It won't start in that. The growth matrix won't start in that. So I need some kind of like thing to grow the growth matrix in.
What do you want me to do? That's true. Is this based? No, it's not based on movie. Does she remind you of that chick from Judge Dredd? I better not. If I start taking every single specimen, I'll be here for days. That was also in Twin Peaks. <laughs> Cause that's who she reminds me of. All right, let's see. But no, it's its own universe. No, I do love this scene. That scene's so like noir, future noir kind of stuff. It, this game reminds me a lot of Snatcher. No, not the girl that went undercover in the brothel. The one that owned the lumber mill. Josie. You know, the Asian girl. And she was also in Judge Dredd. And now, when I saw, like, Twin Peaks, I was like, I've seen this woman before. And I was like, oh yeah, she's in Judge Dredd. All right, let's go to Cell HQ and, and see where I could put this stuff. Dude. All right, maybe can I throw the growth matrix yeah, in the I've cable? Okay, what about the, the main? The AI Damn it. I gotta figure out yeah. a way to get through that airlock, but they won't- I- I don't have access to it, and there's really no way I can get access to it. Wetware's not- I have wetware, which is- allows me to, like, connect to computers. Wetware's not- Which, of course, I've yet to be able to find a place that it, it connects to. Nah. Alright, well, I've done everything I can here. Alright, let's go to the- uh, That other place. I got three places I can go. Dr. Lau, so good to see you again, my dear. What do you think the of growth this? matrix. Oh. I can put stuff in the toolbox. Is this like Blade Runner with less dystopia? It's about the same in dystopia. Is it, it's similar to Beneath the Steel Sky. There was an apocalypse or an apocalyptic event, and then like you know, and then mega cities formed. It does look very clean, but this is a high-end area. You know, like this guy basically made the AI that runs the whole city. So, Doctor Vargas, I'd like to ask you a few questions, if I may. Certainly, my dear. Anything I can do to help. Thank you, Doctor Vargas. You've been most helpful. Anything I can do to help. Well, that was all the questions. Got wetware, but I can't use... I feel like I have to use the wetware somewhere, right? Like... There's no computer stuff. There's, like, painting. I can look at painting. You know what? I'm gonna go use my, uh, my taser on that one guy that can't talk. I mean, I'm a cop. I can do stuff like that. Insignificance could please even the most demanding follower of Floyd. Sorry, just testing a theory. All right, that didn't work. Okay, all right. Maybe I put the growth matrix in the toolbox. You better not lose it. All right, and then I put the wetware in the toolbox. He's going to notice if I try to make him carry all my stuff. But I can only put one thing in the toolbox. You suck at those games most of the time? Yeah. What if I put the wetware in first? Not. And then I put the, the growth matrix in there. He's going to... the jolt gun. You better not loot. So I could put anything in the box. You better not loot. Hi there. Insignificant. What's your role at this facility? Your fox romantically sat on a secret arm. Uh-huh. What happened here? Insignificance could please even the- I see. Uh -huh. Can I get your name, 
The necessary I can't get him to use the toolbox of the nation state works towards the rhetoric of synesthesia. Okay. You're not making any sense. I am a possibility to move it from the TV. Are you all right? Monsters angrily destroy the secret paper. My name's Dr. Max Lau. I'm a cell case specialist. With caveat. I give up. What time do we think we want it to be? Okay, so from what I've, I've gathered, all I can really do is put something in the toolbox. I can't interact with this production line at all. Can I take a sample from the production line? What time do we think we want? Yeah, he won't let me do anything with the production line. Or this they pipe. Look Taxi driver. All right. There's nothing else I can interact with. The barber in. All right. All right. Okay. I can put stuff in in his toolbox, but I don't know why I would put anything in the toolbox. I can't access the airlock, and I can't hack anything to get access to the airlock. Unless I'm missing something, like some something I haven't like clicked on. Can I can I use it on the readouts? What where's I feel like that's terminal, but I can't use it on what can I just use it on the airlock? That'd be weird. Holy crap! Alright, okay, we're hacking into the Warning. airlock. Security clearance not Come on. Security profile created. Access granted. Welcome, Dr. Lau. Thanks. All right. Okay, we're making progress now. Got stuff going on. First aid kit. And whenever you enter a new room, you gotta, like, look around. Production lab. This growth lab. Growth lab? That's probably where I can get thing because what it what is this thing this growth matrix has an X in it hey what's up Bart Zerker how you doing how's your Friday going check out this first aid kit this could be useful looks like a lot of cartridges for the injector ah here we go this is how I can cure the dude so I need the hydro proxy this thing this chemical right Got, I got an injector, I got the thing for it. Okay, so now I can cure what's his name? Nester. Nester. Pretty good, that's good. Pipes. Nothing happened. They've got these pipes everywhere. These futuristic pipes. Okay, now I should be able to just go into the growth lab, right? And just... Oh, shit. Well, one of these leads to that other airlock, right? This door would... Maybe this door? Okay. Alright, now I can figure out what the hell this guy's all about. Wondrous awe lies ahead. What would the future have to come? Really? How interesting. Beast questions you injector? Say that again? Overpass did you stick me with an injector? Now I'll have to get my aphasia rich yet. Not cool, man. Not cool, man. Dramatically clean a screaming pile of biscuits. Okay. That's an achievement, apparently. Excuse me. Yeah. All right, now I get some I'm answers. I'm CS Dr. Lau. I've been tasked with this investigation. Martin Easter. I've been tasked with the factory lab. You work with Dr. Chikwa? I work for Chikwa. I'm just the intern. Means I get stuck for the lousy jobs she won't do. I understand. I was an intern once. So, what's, uh, CS? The detective? Case specialist. So, yes, I guess you could say that. Cool. What happened I'd like here? to hear from you what happened. So, we came in this afternoon for the late shift, right? I checked on the factoring line, and it turns out the specimens are yoked up. In what sense? They don't match the catalog anymore. Not that I'm supposed to be. I figured Baxter knew it up again, so I checked the feed. 
That's when you found the body? Yeah, but the cheek one won't let me get a look. Told me to get back to work when she called Sam. Hey, can I get a look at the body with you? I'm afraid not. Official procedure and stuff. Bummer. Bummer, man. I wanted to see the dead All right, dude. I'll let you get back to your job. All right. I'm gonna check something here. Music's becoming a little too overbearing. Okay, now I can hear the tech, uh, the voice. Excuse me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah why, why give yourself aphasia? Why don't you go and give yourself aphasia? Not just that. There are loads of syndromes. It's maladies, man. Aren't diseases like that dangerous, though? It's not permanent, man. We ain't stupid. We ain't stupid, what man. We just give ourselves the diseases. the symptoms of things we want. Which you went and broke. Gee. Thanks. Uh, sorry about that. I mean, seriously, In any case, they're it's temporary like, then. Man, exactly. I want to get the shingles next. That would be great. That would be so cool. Oh, God. You know what's another good one? Chronic diarrhea. Yeah, what is the appeal of that? I still don't get it. What's the hook for maladism? Man, you old folk never get things like MD. Old? Most of these <laughs> syndromes are diseases that are completely curable. They just don't happen anymore. Society says no to them. So it's countercultural, an act of rebellion? Exactly. Diseases like that make the establishment uncomfortable. They don't want it to be a part of their society. But we show them they can't like polio. get rid of it completely. <laughs> You're rubbing their faces in it then. And in another way, it's uh, kind of retro. Illnesses like that are what shape society. The Black Death made Europe what it is. Got to appreciate the classics. Polio made for Roosevelt us, what he was. It's also about who's hardest. Pulsers go for little things like botulism or influenza. But you know someone's got real nose on them if they can stand a month with HIV. Or bird flu. How about that corona, huh? And <laughs> So, what other diseases have you tried? Worlds of them. Parkinson's, syphilis, syphilis? tuberculosis. Oh, really? Last month, it was Anson's disease. Wait, leprosy? Yeah, if you're a Zift, Hansen's is the real name. Sounds like quite a selection. That's why I came to study in Newton. Eurofed's just starting to get into MD culture. Even talking about banning it. Newton's where it's at for it. You guys are a lot cooler about what you let people do. On an individual basis, certainly. That's pretty much the founding philosophy here. I mean, if you want to give yourself diseases, or no, he doesn't give himself diseases. He gives himself the symptoms of diseases. So he technically doesn't have the disease, so I guess he can't give it to other people. It's still stupid, though, but whatever. DNA Dr. samples. Dr. Chipwa tells me that some of the specimens have been tampered. Oh, yeah. I found one of those. Man, couldn't they have just killed the guy without messing up my work? I know, right? I need right? to find it. Which specimen was it? Oh, uh... Corsa Brasilia. When I found it, I just thought Baxter was nuking it up again. What did you do with it? I just sent it back to the specimen lab. Should be there in the sample store. Okay, so the sample store. Hey, how do you get the? We download how them do off the net. How young people go about getting sick these days? It's a lot harder, but that shows it's a choice. We use wetware to create symptoms, like the aphasia. The wetware I had for that was programmed to lodge in the Baroka and Wernicke regions of the brain. So, it's not really broke as aphasia. Same symptoms, though. You'd buy wetware nodes from shops? Nah, find hobby GG programmers through the trance. They're always looking to sell. It's like a contest. They're always releasing those syndromes, competing with each other. You looking to get into it? Not really my scene. So, I... disease emulation? Is that, like, seriously? Okay, whatever. Dr. Chigwa. What do you think of Dr. Chigwa? She's a hard ass, but she knows what she's doing. I kind of think she feels wasted working here. I mean, I hate to judge, but I, I kind of think you young people are fucking stupid. What can you tell me about Dr. Baxter? Not much. He only started here a couple of weeks ago. Sheikwa dropped him in the specimen lab and uh, kind of left him here. She neglected him? Nah, he just barely left. Could have been a workaholic, but I think he just couldn't focus on anything else. Did he ever talk about his past with you? Man, he didn't even talk to me, period, about anything. I want, yeah, it's like, it's like we couldn't relate. Me giving myself diseases. <laughs> Him being like one of the guys responsible for creating a, an AI that runs a whole city. What's your personal opinion of Dr. Baxter? 
He didn't talk much. One nuked up guy. Chico told me he'd been released from jail. Looked like he had a governor in his head. That's correct. It affected his behavior. Dude, that's an understatement. That Malkin was like a zombie. One time, I dropped the whole sample tray in his lab. Anyone else would have yelled at me. He started to get mad, then looked just about ready to puke. The governor inhibited violent thought. He'd been serving a murder sentence. Oh, no way. Who the whack? That's confidential. Man, that's unfair. You're a tease. Okay, so when they, they gave him a governor, so I guess they clockwork oranged him. It made him it made him watch some really, really sick videos. <laughs> Remind me, what was that specimen you found? Jeez, what are you, senile? It was a Corse Brasileira. You know, he doesn't look that young. He's probably like only like Alright, I'll it. let you get back to your job. Whatever. Uh-huh. Whatever. Whatever. Hey wait, let's see what he actually says when I mess with the pipe. Hey, don't touch the valve. Who do you think Dr. Chigua makes fix them when they burst? All right, all right, I won't touch them. Hey. All right, all right, I won't touch them. Ow! What the hell, man? Sorry, just testing a theory. <laughs> all right, I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> What's the point of the jolt gun though? It doesn't like it just shocks him. I guess you put it on a low setting. I'm assuming that because if that's the case, that's the only weapon these cops have, and it doesn't knock the person out, then it sucks. Like it's it's awful. I'm sure she has a gun. Well, Regis had a gun. I don't know, whatever. I don't I don't fully understand the jolt gun. Well, he's gonna have to fix it now. <laughs> they're keeping things in here because they're dangerous or unusual. Probably not what I want to be carrying around. I don't think I can fix it. Not my field. Right? Yeah, exactly. Not my field, not my problem. Da, 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 da. They're keeping things in here. this ladder climbing animation. Growth cylinder. Well, I guess I know what to put in there. There. I've planted the growth matrix. Let's hope I got mom's green fingers. Control panel. Control panel. Static shot. Oh, wait. Uh, maybe I should check out these control panels. See what they say. Chamber A. Um, Gamma Vulgaris status. Uh, I don't need that one. But I do need this. I need the Xenosporanus because that's an X. I don't think I can plant that. Oh. DNA sampler. I don't think I can. I don't want you to plant it. I want you to. I don't... Okay, so how do I get the sample after I put it in the growth thingy? Can I, can I get samples? Oh, I can get samples I've there. Taken a DNA. Med Medica... Okay, so Max Lau, I need an O, so I'm thinking Chamber A. I've taken a DNA sample from it. It still doesn't make sense what, why I can put stuff in the dude's toolbox. Sample the control panel. Yeah. Maybe I have to come back later and it grows? It's supposed to grow like really fast though. The dark scared Aeneas. I don't need any of that. 
So I'm guessing I gotta get him to come and fix this. And then after he's done fixing that, then the growth thing will work. Warning, copyright breach in progress. Damn it. Excuse me? You are not authorized to remove Orchidacea isotria samples from the growth lab. They are copyrighted property of Typho Labs GmbH. Beginning purge. Oh. Hey, my sample! Damn it. What did you do? To prevent theft of intellectual property, gene sequences in your possession have been neutralized. Have a nice day. Gee, thanks. Right, maybe I hack it some more? Let's see. Wetware's not... Wetware's... Wet... Wet... Okay, so no. Huh. Nothing happened. And it's like you solve one puzzle and then you have to deal with another puzzle. Maybe I'm supposed to put more stuff in the injector? Maybe there's like a truth serum thing I could do? Alright, so obviously I can put stuff in his toolbox. Should I frame him? Oh, wait, wait, there's no way I can frame him, though. Um... Dang. Doc, what do you think, Doctor? All right. Hmm. Let me talk to him about that DNA sample again, like, where that thing Excuse was. Excuse me. Yeah? Remind me, what was that specimen you found? Jeez, what are you, senile? It was a Cortese Brasileira. I think I already got that, though, right? You know All what? Right, I'm gonna right. go check. Wait, I don't even have to go over there to check. I can just use this. Yeah, a Colio Brasileira. I already got that. So, I need the, I need the O and the X. I'm going to need... If Excuse me. Figure yeah. this out here. I need to remove the Orchidacea Isotria sample from the growth room. Thing is, the airlock told me it was copyrighted, then blasted me with gas. Yeah, that one belongs to Tiefel. They're way touchy about it. Only lab staff are able to remove it for factoring. Could you get the sample for me? Hey, no way, man. I'm already on two strikes for taking stuff out of the lab. So you could, but you won't. Sorry, man. Jake already thinks I'm stealing stuff. There's a huge street market for things like spark fruit or cracked wetware. Okay. Xeno focus. I think there might be a problem in the growth lab. I kinda, sorta, planted that xenofungus from the growth matrix. Oh, awesome. That stuff is hella toxic. <laughs> Nukes nerf tissue up like Who nothing says hella else. in 2060? You strangely upbeat about environmental catastrophes. Nah, man. It's cool. This shit happens all the time. Management gives us time off whenever they run Beacon. Well, I'm not gonna tell him about the burst pipe yet, because right. there's obviously something to I have job. to put in his toolbox. Uh, whatever. It could be the DNA sampler. You know, because I, I guess I'm gonna frame him for something? Let's go talk to Chiqua. Maybe I got more dialogue options. Excuse me. Make it... Not really. It doesn't Have seem you found like anything it. else with added genetic data? As a matter of fact, there was a batch of Orchidacea I so and hmm, I can't remember. I do broadly okay. and vi Have you found? As oh damn it! I don't want to I talk to her again. Is that for now? Then okay. if you. So out of the items I have, what would I put in the DNA? Or what would I put in his toolbox? Right, let's try the DNA sampler. You better not look. Excuse me. Yeah. Hey, the pipes in the growth lab are leaking. Ah, 
you'll get again. Better go fix it before she was starts yelling. I guess here let's mess with this pipe and then we kill him. I guess these pipes aren't broken. According to the labels, these shouldn't be handled without protective gear. Oh, I gave him the damn it. <laughs> and anything I can do on it at his station? Nothing. Okay, oh wait, wait. Maybe I can access his toolbox when he's away. Like when he's in here. Okay, good. Alright, I can access it here. Now let's just take the sampler. And then let's go down the ladder. Alright, that makes more sense. Alright, we got the growth. Eesh, no wonder this stuff's labeled. Hazard. Yeah, it'll definitely it destroy the earth. Probably eat the whole planet. Let's take a DNA sample of it. I've taken a DNA sample. I right. hope it doesn't grow in my pocket. Which one of these is the O? Chamber A. Okay, so chamber A is the O. So then take DNA sampler. I've taken a All right. DNA sample. Puzzle's been it. solved. We're done. All I gotta do is put the DNA sampler in his toolbox, leave, and then hopefully he leaves. And I'll just take the, um, take the DNA sampler. He better not lose it. He somehow loses it two screens away. That's a decent puzzle, like it, like, it made sense, and it, like, I mean, I wouldn't say it, like, was part of the story, but at least it makes sense, knowing all the clues that I have. Right, now I take the DNA sampler, now to go put it in the machine so I can figure out, like, what Regis wants Lau to know. One's gonna be false, that's the first one. But the other two should definitely, like, uh, give me Looks something. Looks like Regis... Yes! Aha! Got some. Alright. Now we got the full thing. Lau, if you're listening to this, well, it means they've got me. Oh no, Regis, no, no, no! But, but I... Lau, ignore anything left in the recording up to this point. Huh? Sorry for being so unhelpful with the message, but I had to be sure you were the one who heard it first. Everyone will be saying that I came to the lab to... Well, for Baxter, and they might be right. Except that he's been dead since before I got here. Yes! We need to touch bases on this case. Meet me... Hmm. Meet me where we were both first involved in a case. I'll try to explain when you get here. Good luck. Oh, thank God. You've got some explaining to do, Regis. Germination. Crisis of conclusions. Crisis of infinite conclusions! <laughs> What the hell did you think you were doing? We need her alive! I saw an opportunity for striking back at Regis, a kind of poetic justice. At Regis? You've never even met the man. Yes, but I... You haven't offloaded Baxter yet, have you? Ugh. Look, there might just be a use for your newfound vendetta. The tap on his partner was successful. She found where Regis is hiding. He's an unfactored element. Now, he needs to be removed from the equation. Don't worry. I'll kill him myself if it comes to it. There's only so much of the city's resources that can be diverted to this. Oh, this is I obviously Galatea or whatever. Then return for offloading. Remember, I'm your controller, not Baxter. And then he hacked into Baxter, so maybe he so has sweet. Baxter's personality. Maybe Baxter had no personality when he was released. So I got out. I managed to find somewhere to lie low. Is he just but talking I know to himself? what Central's capable of. You can only hide from it for so long. 
Lau had better find that message before an aerostat comes this way. What the hell? Well, I mean, let's look at it. Message in a bottle! What the hell is this? The bottle is some kind of thermal container, about half full of thick liquid. The words, drink me, are stenciled on the side. Oh, so don't drink it. Down the hatch. No, I said don't drink it! I didn't say that did. Who knows? Hear me? Oh. Hello? Who's there? Barely, can you hear me? Barely? I can't see you. Where are you? In your head. My head? What the hell are you doing in my head? That bottle you just drank. It was full of wetware. They were programmed to construct a transceiver in the small bones of your inner ear. A codec, if you will. I'm more curious how long permanent, it lasts. is it? No, it'll break itself down in a couple of weeks. Oh, thank God. You have bigger problems at the moment, though. My location's been compromised? I'm afraid so. There's a strike team surrounding the building as we speak. Damn. We need to get you out of there. The sewer access on the factory floor hasn't been secured. It's your best chance for an escape route. If what you're saying is true, I'm about to be outnumbered and outgunned. Don't worry, you're probably one of the few people <laughs> I know who's smart enough to get out of something like this. Do you know me? It's you loud. Say that. Come on, get okay, moving. Okay, it's not loud. No, but ser seriously though, it's like, re I'm Regis, I'm a super scientist. I'll drink anything that says drink me on it. Thrown through a window. <laughs> Alright, okay, well let's look at window. Someone managed to get this through the window. They must have one hell of a pitching arm. Our town is full of disused factories, abandoned after an environmental catastrophe a decade earlier. While Cell technically has a mandate to keep it safe, the expense of doing so means that it rarely gets patrolled. Fire control. Filing cap. I guess some things you just have to store physically. Like porn. Let's see. Looks like this guy had a place to keep his vices at work. Picked up cigarette lighter. Okay. Got a cigarette lighter. Oh, it's a futuristic cigarette lighter. It's an like ornate a jet cigarette lighter. lighter. The kind I can picture wealthy managerial types having. Can't think of the last time I saw a smoker in this city. Everyone vapes now. Terminal. Oh my god, the thing works? Really? From Central, received 20... By order of centralized government, please proceed to the designated shelter sites. If you have been affected, Burns, NBC, can please contact your nearest cell representative. So like a disaster happened in this place, huh? HR Management, 2076. Dear Mr. Hart, while it is clear there are doubts about the firm's policy of mechanization as a means of remaining competitive, it is unhelpful to suggest to employees that they are building their own replacements. Please refrain from such comments in the future. Oh, man. Someone complained to HR that rat was later fired. I guess you're right. Wait, subject locker room. I guess you're right. Since there isn't anyone changing out of the hazard gear anymore, nobody else will be using the locker room. It's going to be one hell of a working weekend. I'll put the stuff in the locker in locker six. Codes 381. All right, 381. I'll definitely not remember that. 2076. Which Zift decided it'd be a good idea to run water pipes over a million quanta industrial laser? I fixed the leak in the locker room's pipes, but don't charge the capacitor banks unless you feel like being cooked. All right, three, three, eight, what? Three, eight, one. Okay, three, eight, one. It's a power button. Oh. Yeah, yeah, whatever that does. Power up sequence. Oh, the whole factory, okay. Hmm, I gotta fix that, huh? Here, also, link to external device. There we go. Good. 
Looks like I can control the factory's power from my traveler now. Drew a little ghost picture. I thought that was a door. Painting of a glowing pyramid hanging over a city, despite the other decoration that the walls of this office has acquired, this picture remains unvandalized. It was just too good. Go oh, well, even if it hadn't suffered from a decade of neglect. That's yeah, that's what Regis is worried about now. What is this? Oh, that's the voice in my ear. Wait, can I talk to it? You still there? I hear you. Who are you? Perhaps it was my mistake first for drinking that bottle, but how do I know I can trust you? It's either me or the guys with the kill on sight order. Besides, what sort of person would I be if I didn't help out an old pal? Oh, oh I wait. know you. you it's, it's what's her face? We've spent years working together. Oh no, it's Lau. Is this Lau? Come on, you've got to get moving. It has to be Lau. How did they manage to find me? Sorry, I can't help you with that. All I know is, they're after you. Did you get What's my up, message? What's up, Joey Crusher? How you doing? Message? Nah. I just know the kind of places you like to hide in. But your garden wouldn't do for this one, would it? Hey. Match that against which of your favorite spots are being raided by crisis teams, and boom. Instant rages. So, you haven't heard my side of the Baxter story. Save it for later. First, we've got to get you out of there. It's not loud. I thought it was, but I guess not. The what factory. do you know about this facility? Hmm. Old TVNA factory. Used to make synths there. Cleared out when the Aurora hit. Most of that part of town stayed abandoned even to this day. It's the kind of place lowlifes and thralls hide in. Anything useful? A lot of the stuff in it's probably been scavenged already, All right. but you might find something useful. Plus, it's an old building. Be careful, a lot of it is unstable. Maybe I can use that to my advantage. Well, stay strong, though. I mean, like... Oh, hopefully you feel better. Oh, all right. Escape route. How exactly am I supposed to get out of here? There's an exit to the sewers on the factory floor level. What makes you think they haven't blocked that off too? This raid was a rush job. I don't think they've known where you are for very long. They're gambling that they can eliminate you. Think, you think Lau ratted him out then? I hate to disappoint I don't think you, Lau, but I'm not exactly If Lau did either. rat him out, yeah, she didn't she do it on help. purpose. That puts you it's because she, ahead. like, she's compromised anyways, because she's always connected to the, to Central. With her, like, uh, Wi-Fi in her brain or whatever. That's one big laser they've got. If it's not on the production line, it was probably just used for prototyping. Looks like someone made a real mess with it. Probably didn't have time to fix it before the Aurora hit. Maybe it'd be useful if you could power it up again. Why are the power systems in this place still online? It's only been 11 years since the Aurora. If nobody switched it on since then, the city's probably just never noticed they were still connected. I guess the factory's standby would be a drop in the ocean in terms of the city's power. It's not like they're short on it. Newton's a net exporter in the region. I guess you can do that when you're the only one in the neighborhood with orbiting solar arrays. If the factory's still working, you might be able to use that strategically. Okay, so the Aurora was some kind of event that happened 11 years ago, back in 2070. That, I guess, made this part of the city abandoned, though not, like, radioactive or anything. I'm still a little worried about what I drank. It won't do you any harm. It's just a constructor node. Yeah, but thousands of molecule-sized machines building a radio in my head. That'd bother any sane man. If you'd gone and gotten yourself wired years ago, we wouldn't have to do this. Plus, this is more secure. We're operating on a bespoke fractal encoding. You'd better get moving or a patrol might catch you. Right, right. I wonder who this is. The voice sounds similar to Lau. It could be the other character in the game. But how would- but she hasn't worked with Regis. Hey, a maintenance drone. Named Joey. Must have been a decorator. <laughs> Picked up paint cartridge. One okay. of the city's custodial drones. Someone must have hacked it and directed it up here. Lousy kids can't even do their own graffiti anymore without a bot's help. I know, right? They can't even just come into abandoned places and just do graffiti that nobody's ever gonna see. They gotta hack a bot to do it now? Man. That and giving themselves symptoms of diseases. What the hell? Fire control. 
There's a canister of water-soluble fire suppressant loaded into the system. I'm distorted, Regis. It's the fire safety system. Probably hasn't been used in years. There's a canister of water soluble. Okay. I can't take. Oh, I. Why I won't do this, but do it. Huh. It fits. Okay, now I can paint stuff. So now I can. <laughs> like, instead of sprinkling water, it sprinkles paint. Smoke detector. I can't reach it from down here. Okay, so I use the lighter on the smoke detector. I wonder if it even still... I mean, why not, right? Like... Okay, I don't know what that really did. Wait. What is it? Oh. Global Dashwall, this is Global 3. Dynamic entry you? complete. Second floor hallway secure. Going dark and starting patrol. Out. Oh shit, he's cloaked. <laughs> okay, so that explains the paint. How am I supposed to get past them when I can't even see them? I'll see if I can breach their systems. For now, you're going to have to think your way past. They got the combine radio uh, stuff where it's like their their voices are really distorted. All right, well, time to think my way past. Ah, Cobalt three, camouflage compromised. Packed on, draw Dick Mural and Ben and part of the city. Yeah, pretty much, kids, kids in the future. An adaptive camo compromise. Do I have Jolt Gun? You know, you'd think the Jolt Gun wouldn't work on the Crisis 8. Maybe I should talk to him. Hey, what's up, bro? Oh. Holy shit, it worked. One down. However many left to go. Don't count on taking them all on, though. Now Low I have a machine jacketed gun. hollow point. They came prepared for a soft target. Picked up sub. Oh my god, I do have a submachine gun. Ho ho ho. He's not Yippee dead, but he's gonna wake up with one hell of a headache. Great. The wood's old, but I still can't get it open by hand. Alright, use the submachine gun on the crate. What type of submachine gun? 10mm submachine gun, part of the strike team's gear. As a signature weapon, it's encoded to only operate for its assigned user. Fuck. Can't use by itself. Use on crisis agent. It won't fire for me. It's a locked signature weapon. Then why even pick it up? What are we gonna do with it? We can't hack it. <laughs> there it goes. A big old jolt's not gonna make it work. Uh, all right, let me save. I feel like it's more imp important now to save, though I'm kind of... It's kind of annoying that it keeps making new saves. Um... I don't think I can climb back out of there. Come on, Regis. Not with that attitude. What is this hole? That's not the hole. Man, look at how... Look. I don't think I... What else can I click on? Locker room, sprinklers, stairway. I can't figure that out. Can't figure out sprinklers? Not much to figure out. Like, they turn on, water comes out of them. Let's go to the locker room. There's stuff in the locker room, so. I don't know if there's an agent here, but there's no point of entry. Showers. Ah! Ah! Water came out of it. They've probably become even rustier because of all the water. It's rusted stuff. Okay. Use jolt gun on water. Oh wait, there's a drain. There's nothing in here. I wonder if anything's made a nest in there since they stopped using this place. What I put in the drain though. 
We got a giant crack. I haven't got the gear to fix it, or open it up some more. Looks like the beginnings of a fine hole in the floor. There's a little light coming through it, and I can hear voices. Apparently it's not just cleaning supplies they kept in here. This is some pricey liquor. Polish and whiskey. Whiskey polish. It's like, what are you gonna get drunk on? I get the liquor, but. It's a strong old whiskey. More expensive than the stuff I've usually got around. A metal polish from the cleaning supplies. It's been here for over a decade, but it doesn't seem to have dried out. Okay. Polish the shower. I can't get it cleaner. Oh. That won't fit. I can't get it. What, what am I going to use the whisk? Oh. I needed that. I needed that. That won't fit. It's powerful stuff, but it won't do anything useful there. Saving again. Do, 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 do. Activate power, sure. You're the worst guard ever, man. Like, he's like, oh, that laser. I'm not even gonna look behind me. I'm not. I'm not really that concerned about these crisis agents. They seem to be just awful. With literally no situational awareness whatsoever. Right, so this is a synth factory. Crisis agent. So I drop whiskey on his face? What? He's keeping watch over the factory floor. I can't reach him from up here. Plus, I don't like my odds against him. Here, here, throw polish. Metal in. polish from the cleaning. There you go, I can't work. get it clean. Damn it! I can't get it. I can't get it clean. You're polishing the gun hacks it. That'd be funny. I don't think we can settle our differences over a drink. Damn. Yeah, he just walks up with a bottle of whiskey. The crisis agent's like, "Yeah, sure, you could pass." I'm gonna go try the lower level. Maybe, maybe he shoots me. Maybe he doesn't. Oh, he's too busy looking at the factory. Target sighted. Oh, fuck. Well, that was easy. And then he just goes back to look. Oh! Okay. I like that, though. You don't even have to reload the game. It's just like, now you just get shot. Nothing else to click on up here. No, I don't want you to go in the lower. Target sighted. Ooh. I like Regis's face. He's like, oh, and he gets shot. Can we use the machine gun on him? It won't fire for me. No, I got a machine gun that I can't use. There's a crack. So I got to figure out a way to open that crack. We go read some emails here. Either that or the whiskey unlocks something. I don't know what the polish is going to be good for. A metal polish from the cleaning supplies. It's been here for over a decade, but it doesn't seem to have dried out. I mean, unless I need to clean something. It's a strong... Put the whiskey in the fire thing. <laughs> the one gets drunk. It's that strong. That's not gonna work though. Let's see. I don't know what any of these things do. Maybe I'm only supposed to power up one thing. 
Now, there's nothing in here that I haven't checked. I've checked the filing cabinet, everything else I can click on. There's a bug on the wall. At least I assume that's a bug. I don't know. It's like moving around. Could just be a weird pixel. Yeah, we're gonna go. Locker room. I gotta somehow break that hole. Unless I'm Whatever's to... in there, there's apparently four gross of them. Whatever that means. It's robot it wings. Old, but I still can't get it open by hand. Here, let's polish it then. I can't get it. Can we talk to the voice in my head? Be like, hey, what, uh... Here, kill myself. <laughs> That won't fit. A big old jolt's not. It's rusted stuff. Clog the drain? That away the area floods and maybe the crack that won't will fit. I can't get it cleaner. Hmm. I can't get can't combine it I can't with get anything. It. This stuff will be flammable, but it won't burn in the bottle like this. It's powerful stuff, but it won't... Burning it's not going to help. Alright, well we know the whiskey is flammable. Okay, maybe go see if I can get... Maybe I can load the whiskey into the robot? <laughs> And make it a flamethrower droid? Let's see. It's powerful stuff. How about I polish the droid? I can't get it. How about this picture? Let's polish the picture. I can't get it. Why is there a picture here that I can't do anything? It's just there for, like, flavor? Check the fire control again. The gauge says the tank's exhausted. Load the whiskey into the tank. I don't think they're compatible. Yeah, that's what I thought. The system only takes fluid tanks. It's not going to be compatible with it. Polish. Do I polish the knocked out guard? Got this SMG. 10 millimeter. As a signature weapon, it's encoded to only operate for its... It won't fire for me. It's a lot. Oh, I didn't want you to shoot the droid. I wanted... Something to do with that shower and the water not turning off. Maybe I gotta clog it? He's not dead, but he... Shame the optic camo's built into the uniform. I could use something like that right about now. Here, polish him. That way he'll be squeaky clean when clean. he wakes up. Okay, what about this crate? I can't get it. Here, poor, poor... <laughs> I don't know people just it's think powerful he's drunk. Stuff. <laughs> like, he just put it put it next to his unconscious body. It's like, hey man, what the hell? <laughs> or pour it on him and then burn him. <laughs> you don't have to do it, it's just there, you know, you... Reach is just a sick fuck like that, what could I say? Big old jolt. These crates that I can't do anything with. I can't. That's one way of getting it open. Oh, I can hit it with the gun. It's empty, except for all the packing material. Picked up packing Whatever's material. in there. There's apparently four gross of Okay, so I can use the gun as like, oh, uh, you got A packing fiber material. used for packing. There's nothing in any of the crates besides this stuff. Anything more valuable's probably been stolen over the years. All right, so maybe I can use that to clog the drain. I've stuffed the drain. All right, so that means the water will now go into the crack. I haven't got the gear to... F it's gonna get a whole lot wetter downstairs. 
Okay, now I guess I can activate the laser and it'll kill that dude. Because there's that one, um, cable, right? Oh, he's dead. Alright, well that solves that problem. But there's still the problem of the other guy. Unless he's not there anymore. Oh, he's still there. Still got packing material. Huh. This takes me back. Alright, I got a Molotov. What a waste of good whiskey. Still don't know what I'm doing with the polish, though, but hey, you know, we'll figure that out. I walk by the other two dead Regises. It's turned into that really bad time travel movie, Triangle. Smash I need to window. find a better way. It's a long way down. So he just jumped out the window. I guess he's armored, but I don't know if the armor would help. Okay, you're on the factory floor. There's an emergency access route to the right, sewer. Can I the polish it, though? Wall. Sure, except it's locked. What? This can't be right. Yep, big padlock and everything. Any other ideas? Do you I'm have polish? Not. The crisis oh. team's got the factory surrounded. That's your only route out. I guess I need to find a way to get the lock off. He looks like a politician. Well, the thing is, you have three characters you play as. This one, uh, Lau, and, um... Um... I forgot her name. <laughs> she, She's just some chick that spends all her time in cyberspace, so she's kind of, um... Kind of a cyberspace junkie. Or they don't call it cyberspace, they call it trans. What's up, Kirk Cool Beans, by the way? Production line! Whatever this is, building a synth apparently takes a lot of them. A lot of metal discs? This is where synthetics are born. How many metal circles do I need? Desk job? I mean, he was a cop. A detective. Large doors. Not from here, I can Huh? What is this? Robot are you kidding? Car. If anything, that arm would pick me up. It's nothing like the drones and synths of today. Less personality. Nothing to argue with. My kind of vibe. Sewers. Oh my god, there's a sewer level? The other question is, why would I need to knock that one guy out, though? I, or kill that one dude with the laser. I just did it for fun. I guess I'm gonna have to encounter that later. Alright, here's a control panel. Looks like the manual controls for the manipulator arm. I can, oh, I can click on lock. Alright. Let's polish that lock. Can't rotate, can't rotate. Please consult the for access. Drive error, drive error, okay. <laughs> a metal polish from the cleaning supplies. It's been here for a right, let's metal polish with I can't the packing get it clean. material. That's brightened it up. All right, I brightened up. Okay, I don't have the metal polish anymore, but now I have a really shiny disc. Are you kidding? It's nothing like the drones and less person. Arm wrestle Are with you it. Kidding? Come on. If anything, that arm would pick me up. I got a shiny disc now. Anywhere else I can go? There's stairs. There's a door I can't get to. Oh, it being shinier should now make make it easy to hack the lock. That. Okay. Hit it with the gun. <laughs> oh my god, he's gonna do it. It's going to need something stronger than that. I thought... Can you jolt the lock? 
A big old jolt. Hmm. Pixel hunting. Wait, optics lab. Not from here. I. That's the way back to the optics lab. Not from here. Oh. So somehow I gotta get on the second floor. Party with shiny disc. So I use this arm for something, right? Line supervisor for access. Who the fuck? Where? Let me talk to you the still voice. Can't get rid of me. The manipulator arm won't work. It tells me it's locked. What am I? Tech support? Hang on a second. Yeah, the system map says its master override is at the end of the production line. Now I just need to find that too. Big double doors on the balcony overlooking the factory floor. Can't miss it. Damn it. No, no, this was made in like 2015. You didn't know about the lock on the sewer exit? They must have put it in place when they launched the raid. No wonder they've got no patrols in the sewers. Any ideas on getting it open? For a lock that big, you're going to need something industrial scale. That laser. These armed men. It must be difficult having to escape your own colleagues from cell. That's the thing. They're not cell crisis team agents. They're really they're terrible. They're armed like them, but they're not the real deal. How can you be sure? Central has other means of handling the possibility of rogue agents. Its actions are precise, surgical, even if not what we'd normally think of as moral. This whole thing is like a blunt instrument, a sledgehammer for a wasp. Okay, so you don't think it's central, but why aren't these men cell? If they were, this operation would have been a whole lot better planned. There'd be an isomap, the building, they'd know exactly where I was to begin with. These guys can handle a weapon, but they're just geared up like a crisis team. Hmm, that's an interesting theory. I'll check some leads on that. Plus, if they were cell, I'd have a much harder time doing what I need to escape. You'd better get moving or a patrol might catch you. Right, right. Okay, so... Production. How many metal circles do... This is where synthetics... Right, 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 but like... The way to to open this thing is I have to go to the end of the production line. Cause I'm assuming I use the arm to climb up here. Not from here. It's nothing like less Are you kidding? If anything, that arm would pick me up. Yeah, see that's what I mean, like. So two metal these doors here, but I can't get to there. I'm gonna try going up up the stairs. Maybe there's optics lab. Okay, I can just go, I can exit here. Smashed window. That guy's knocked out. Let's see if I can see if he he's got another machine gun. He might not be a good. At it. There's a risk of the current might come back on. Yeah. Okay. Industrial laser. I mean, I'm guessing I use this with the laser. Warning. That's not going to work. Judging by the frequency and nature of the warnings around the room, this machinery must have been exceptionally hazardous to the human eye. Can I miss with this? Ah, good. Emergency cutoff, short circuit, and power supply, cutting laser control. So I can change its power. I can maximize it. I'm not gonna do that just yet. I just something I can do. What's? Can I click on this stuff? No. Nope. More warnings. That's not. Stairway. Factory floor. All right. Now I can get into these doors here. Oh shit, there's a cell agent. And I'm probably gonna have to, like, do some stealth gaming here. Oh my god, this is gonna be hard. I gotta get to these controls! Alright, so we gotta wait until, like, something that blocks it. Oh fuck. Ah! Alright, so I really have to, like, 
There ain't much cover between me and him. It's like an engraving laser? Yeah. It, I, they probably used it to fine tune things. How am I supposed to get back, though? That's the big problem there. Okay, here we go. So the arm works now. Alright, now we got direction control. I'm gonna have to switch that. Anything else I can interact with here? No? Oh, shit. Switch. And the guard's are like, eh, nothing suspicious about that. It's like, exactly nothing at all. Oh, fuck. Start me on the right. Come on. There ain't much cover. At least there's some leeway here. He's that bad of a guard. He's that... He's that bad. All right, well, I guess the other thing I can do is turn this laser all the way up. Barony, power grade. Oh, look at this, stainless steel, silicon wafer, calibration. Whoop, danger unsafe. All right, that's where we want it, I guess, because, you know. It's either all or nothing. Also, I'm getting out of this room before I turn it on. <laughs> like, I mean, just think that might be a good idea. Ah. So it's gonna be one of those puzzles, huh? Okay. Also, hey, I just realized, let's call Lau. I can't call Lau. Cell would immediately know where I'm hiding. Okay, let's call Central. Wouldn't that be funny? I'm not prepared to turn myself into Central yet. All They'd right. never believe me. No, he's smart enough not to do that. Now let's go to the factory floor. So, we gotta put the shiny disc in the hand of the, of the arm. Pretty obvious. Now we go. Actually, I don't have to go back upstairs. What am I doing? Actually, maybe it's a good idea not to be in the same room that the laser's in, anyways. I'd better not be walking into an ambush. I haven't let you down yet, have I? Hey, Lau. Regis! Up? It's ah. good to see you in the flesh as well, Lau. What do you mean, in the flesh? You weren't the one sending messages through a transceiver in you my head? You weren't the voice in my head? No, she wasn't. No, I wasn't. You thought I was her? Well, it seemed like that. Seemed like what? Who are you talking to? I... never mind. There's a voice in my head and it won't leave. You found my message in the DNA. Eventually. You could have been a little less abstruse. I had to make sure you'd be the one to find it. Plus, if someone else did manage to get into it... They'd probably think you meant to meet up where our first case was, rather than where you caught me the first time. Looks like they found me anyway. There's why. Looks like she downloaded an interceptor. Even I can see the signal coming off it. Uh... Max, the voices say you've been bugged. What? Wait a second. Ah, nuke an interceptor. Can you disable it? Easily, now that I know it's there. Okay, yeah, it's yeah, isolated. There we go. I can confirm that. They won't be tracking her any further. I have no idea when it started writing me. It must have been while I was investigating the, uh, the murder at the plant lab. Well, apparently it wasn't me. It wasn't me, Max. I know, Regis. I didn't think it was, but... But? You're the only person I can think of who would have wanted him dead. And frankly, I don't think anyone would have blamed you after what he did. But after what you tried to do with the bomber last night? What about it? You tried to save his life. 
even though he'd come here intending to murder as many as he could. It was the right thing to do. I've worked with you long enough to know how you work, Regis. What Baxter did didn't drive you to revenge. It's motivated you to try and make the world a better place. What does the voice suggest we do? Should I ask the voice or should I ask Lau? I guess the voice. The voice apparently knows something. Hey, mysterious voice. Any thoughts on our next plans? So glad to hear my input is appreciated. You seem to know a lot more about what's happening than I do right now. Very astute. I believe we must discuss this somewhere more secure. 1181 Shenley Boulevard, Southeast Network. 16th floor. Come around the back. I have no choice but to trust him. But I guess I should ask, how can we trust you? Wait, how do we know we aren't just walking into an ambush? Can we trust you? Well, Charlie, I have just saved your life. Plus, we have information to put you on the right track. All right. We'll come. Leave Dr. Lau. Come alone. No. Pardon? Lau comes too. She's the only one I know I can trust right now. Aw. Mm, very well. See you soon, Charlie. I don't know if we can trust her, though, because, again, she's always hooked up to the net. That makes her kind of untrustworthy. Oh, this is a flashback wow. 24 years like earlier. Vargas pulled together quite a team. Oh wait, am I playing- who am I playing as? Who am I? Am I still Charlie? No, I'm- I'm, um... Charlie's wife? Oh, she's got no inventory, though. Alright, let's talk to Charlie. Hello, Charlie! What was that too for? Much, too I'm much- too much PDA. Sure. I was just worried you weren't gonna come. Don't be silly. Look at him, of full of life and no gray hair. I know. I was just afraid. Hey, there's no need to be afraid of anything here. Unlike your last job, there's no firing squad for motivation. I'm sorry, I didn't mean... It's hard to believe all that's behind me. Not My god, Regis, what type of life have you led? But getting me into this role as well. All I did was mention you to Dr. Vargas. He knew what he needed and you fit the bill. Obviously, he knows talent when he sees it. Hopefully, he likes my work. He can't exactly go to the Texan warlords for a reference. Well, that's a good sign. Now Texan you're the warlords, one making jokes huh? about so, it. So Texas is some kind of like, okay. I can see that. It has a lot of guns. Can I talk to him? This is impressive equipment they've got. I wonder what we're all here for. You don't know? We're here to create an AI. What do we got? We got. I can't look at any equipment. Oh, I can look at microscope. That's always interesting. Dr. Baxter. Oh, he's the guy that will murder me later. Dr. Chigua, Dr. Jong. Don't know much about Jong. Hi there. I'm Dr. Pereira. Yes. Yes, I, I'm a creepy uh, doctor guy. I might get to know who I'm going to be working with. Oh, right. Certainly. Adam Baxter. You enjoying the, uh, MRI scanner? Ah, yes. Forgive me. It's just been some time since my last lab work. After the accident, no institution would take me. I feel as though I may wake up and have this dream of an assignment taken from me. Don't worry. Dr. Vargas is an excellent judge of talent. I can guarantee that this isn't merely out of pity. This is something of a last chance for me. We well, must Well, don't go murdering succeed. anybody, though. You must be the famous Dr. Pereira I've been hearing so much about. Famous? The way Dr. Vargas has been going on, you must have been his star pupil. I guess I'll introduce You're right. myself. I'm Victor Pereira. Vicky. Dr. Vargas mentioned me? Oh, Wouldn't shut up about you. <laughs> like you were Watson, Crick, and Einstein rolled into one. Or more like Oppenheimer, perhaps. Hey, what we did before isn't the key point. It's what we can do with the skills we've brought with us. We found right, God then, and spit your directly in our eye. I'm mostly. I studied under Dr. Vargas. Ah, we've probably got some overlap then. You look familiar, Dr. Nina Jong. Pleased to meet you. AI and synthetic awareness studies. I remember. Dr. Vargas was a big fan of your work. 
He's assembling his dream team. That's what you get with an absurdly huge grant. Not that I'm complaining. And you are? Dr. Zvidzai Chigwa. My friends call me Gwen. I was brought in from Bulawayo. What was your field? Embryonic baseline engineering. She's a real artist, building new animals from scratch. Why? Angiosperms, mostly. Still not oh. sure why I'm here. You got any idea what's going on? I crossed giraffe with a hippo. It was my greatest project ever. Come on, you're the only one of us who's met Vargas in person. Do you have any idea what's going on? I couldn't help you, I'm afraid. Aw, oh, you're killing us. You expect us to believe he didn't tell his star pupil. Well, I might know. But I know how theatrical he can be. It'd mean a lot to him to be the one to reveal it. Now Whatever it is, this is some impressive up, the hardware they've got. Down, he comes that out of the and door. the secrecy says government work to me. I'll leave you to it. There we go. <clears throat> not, not the Your grand attention, I please, ladies and gentlemen. But he's still above everyone, see? Like As he... you look around, you will see some of the finest scientific minds of this generation. And Dr. These Baxter. minds have at their disposal the most cutting-edge tools available to humankind. Newton has decided, like an increasing number of cities, to invest in AI management. But they want no mere computer to run traffic patterns and coordinate electricity grids. You know, that's they my dream, is a computer that runs traffic patterns. infinitely more advanced. They have asked me for the future. I have selected you for this venture, because I believe that together we can make this future. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Central Project. I mean, you know all those times that you get to, like, red lights, and you're at a this red light? This is the place Jinsel said to meet up And there's at. no cars going? Wouldn't it be great if an AI just said, you know, fuck it, green worse light? worse every time I leave the trance. Oh, now I'm playing it. I still don't know what this chick has anything to do with anything. Like, I get Regis. He's kind of important. And, like, his plot is, in my opinion, way more interesting than her plot. Let's just go into the trans. On the internet. All right, let's Google what the fuck am I doing in this game? Hey, what's up, Lusty Bard? How you doing? Oh, like the news. Oh, is it? I don't. I mean, as long as it's better than this chick's plot. Mailbox. Ooh, got. Oh, Jinsel. 2087 Cyrus Street. No public transport. No trans connections before our meeting. Oops. The guy who knows. <laughs> hey there, Miss Mandela. Just wanted to say thanks for the assist at Cell. I'd probably be off to some hand factory by now without the epi sync. Sync you later. Okay. That dude. Oh, yeah, this uh, Techno Babylon. It's a really good game. I want to play their other game that they made too before this Resonance. But this one, like, I mean, there's like. I, wa I really wanted to play this one first, just because, I mean, the the whole cyberpunk aesthetic <laughs> is quite appealing to me. Yeah, yeah, not not necessarily a realistic future, but the future that, like, growing up you would think the future would look like. But done in a retro style, in, like, really low resolution. Like, I'm, I'm down with this. Oh wait, drill transit station. Commuters on the red transit line last night were surprised by an evacuation drill that took place just uh, after midnight at the Barbers Gate transit station. Yeah, it was a drill. It wasn't like a suicide bomb or anything. Cell spokesperson, uh, spokes program has confirmed that the evacuation was part. Well, wow, so programs have taken out spokespersons, and there's another job lost to AI. Part of a planned emergency response simulation that customers were in no way endangered. Cell is required to ensure the preparedness of its agents in the city infrastructure in cases of emergency. You know, the problem is... Oh, the Shadowrun games? Yeah, they're pretty cool. I haven't played the new ones, though. I have the new ones, but I want to beat the Super Nintendo one and the Genesis one. I've gotten far in both of them in the past, but I've never, like, beaten them. That would be a good thing to stream. Wait, there is a limit to what can be anticipated through simulation, especially when it comes to realistic crowd response. As such, we are required to run tests periodically in active stations. Cell and Central are impressed at the professional attitude taken by the public and thanks and thank them for their cooperation. Travelers have complained that the sudden evacuation delayed their journey, though services were able to be routed around Barber's Gate, causing only minimal delays to the service and those not stopping at the station. Yeah, it's a nuisance, said one bystander, but at least it's good to see Cell doing their jobs. 
Instant was also described as a rush by another. If your journey has been affected by the drill, please contact Central for- Oh, at least they compensate. I was late for work. I missed an hour of work. I compensate- Oh, wait. Hockey. Russia beats Canada. Maintains record. Damn it! Nothing's changed. Weather. City of Newton. Currently dry with light outbreaks of rain expected later this evening. Temperature 12 Celsius. Wow, it's cold. For protective clothing. Uh, Chislik says, a day and a night for staying indoors. Yeah, exactly. I know, the Russians, they just, they just own it hockey, even in the future. Side of the evacuation drill. So that's misinformation right there. Um, because reality is it wasn't a drill. It was a legit emergency. Which you, you know, you'd think they would just tell the truth that it was a suicide bomber and then like put some like, um, uh, pro-government rhetoric about how crazy the guy was. That way, at least people don't think that the drills are, like, fake, because if they keep thinking they're fake, then they're not gonna respond anymore, you know what I mean? Like, it's like crying wolf. All right, there's nothing else to do in the trans. So... Back to the real world, where she doesn't look anywhere near as good as her avatar. Look at this guy. Oh, I can't click on him. You must have a whole dope of disease symptoms. I can't reach it from here. I didn't want- I wanted you to Ads read it. Ads for everything from sleazy bars to sex to cosmetics. Nothing I'd want, though. Really? Like the None whole neighborhood was designed to alienate me. What about hot tofu? I'm assuming that's what it says. Ads for everything from sleazy- Feel oh. like- I can't reach it- The one. Neo. Oh, hot tea. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I can see that now. Car. The expensive looking car seems out of place in a neighborhood like this. It must be well protected if someone felt they could leave it on display. Like most cars you've ever seen outside of the trans, it appears to be an auto drive. Barely anyone bothers with manual controls anymore. Good riddance in your opinion. What about what about the um, sports motorists though? Ads for everything. Feel uh, same same stuff. And what? Uh, she's got an injector and wetware. All right, use wetware on car. Oh my God. I didn't expect that to work. I was just fucking around. Alright, I hacked the car. Set acceleration. Brakes on and off. Okay, we put it to reverse. I don't, this seems very dangerous. 140 kilometers. Yeah, uh, set it. Reverse. And let's turn off the brake. That was, that worked. I fucked up a dude's car. Oh, I got, I get access to manhole. All because it was parked on a manhole. All right, can I go? Any other stuff a in the car? car repair tool. Probably what they claim it's for. Picked up least. crowbar. I never heard of crowbar as car repair tool. Oh my God, it's a crowbar from Half-Life. A sturdy metal tool I liberated from the wreck of that car. I'm gonna start calling crowbars that too. It might not actually have been for repairs. Might have been for severe beatings. All right, use crowbar on car to repair. If all it would take to fix was a little recoding, then maybe I could help. This is a little more serious. Trans den. Also, it's like it's like an opium den, but everyone's just on an the underground internet. Underground trans den. People come here if they can't get online at home. Kind of thought it looked slicker. Guess they're playing up the whole underground thing. Or maybe it's just as grimy as everywhere else in this part of town. It's like those internet cafes in Asia where people just like, ba basically their apartment is like a like just a bed, and then they just spend all their days in the um, all their free time in the uh, internet cafe. That's what I assume it's like. Only only even more seedier. Because I I kind like the way the internet works in this or the trans. It's like more advanced than what we have now. It's like true VR. Because it's what's it called. It's inputs directly into your brain. So I can see that being extremely addicting. Hey, no entry. But I have a crowbar. Excuse me, I'm trying to get into the trance den. And I'm stopping you. What? Why? Maybe I don't like the look of you. Maybe we're full. Either way, shove off. Oh, 
come on, there must be something I can do to get in. What do I need to do? Huh, we get that a lot. Some thrall drags themselves up here, says they'll do anything. Shows how desperate you people are. Cool beans. Well, she is just wearing, like, government-issue work overalls, so I guess she's not even, like, cool enough to get in can here. Can I pay to get in? I don't know. Can you pay to get in? Um... You know, that's exactly. a good question, yeah. You wouldn't be dressed up in Skanto blue exactly. overalls if you could. You ain't even got shoes. Because she's never left her apartment, you know, she's just stayed in the trans. And I guess she gets unemployment. Maybe I could do something for you? <laughs> I like him skinny, but you look like you'd break a bone if someone looked at you too hard. You wouldn't believe how many greasy thralls try to get in that way, though. I... what? No! Ew! No! I meant hacking! Hmm. City Utilities did cut the water again. Oh, okay, so I gotta go into the sewers and hack the sewers? What happened to the water? Bills weren't being paid. I needed all my quarter to pay off the bookies after Pakistan lost last month's game. Gambling debts? Hey, like you're in a position to judge anyone, thrall. That anyway, is a that central is a utility slur, shut sir. down the water. Now we can't grow any more wetware. What do you want me to do about the water supply? I'm a hacker, not a plumber. The flow's controlled How by far a terminal. Is this game? In the I mean, I've I've, I've, I've done about four let's plays of it. my water back. I'd assume that I'm past the midway point, but I don't think I'm close to the end. This does not seem like the final act. This place looks like a dump. You're one to talk, girl. Bet yours is worse. Uh, so what happens here? It's a trance den. People come here to hook up. I always do it at home. Did do it at home. People can't always do it there, though. Maybe their partner don't want them doing it no more. Maybe there's some thrall who promised their probation officer they'd stay clean. So you're selling privacy? Bingo. It don't need to be pretty. Once you're in the machine, you don't care about how it looks. He's got a point. No, I haven't done that yet. I'm assuming I'm gonna have to, because I'm basically the goal is to get into this club. But I gotta fix their water problem. What's with your arm? It's all metal. Lost it in the war. It's super One of the metal, bro. On biochem duty. Turned out that because of the shots they gave me, they couldn't just grow me a new one. Same reason I can't get wired either. Allergic to the stuff. Wow. But you run a trance den. Ain't that just the definition of irony? The arm's great, but the eyes they gave me ain't worth shit. There's a street terminal? There's supposed to be a public terminal on the corner over there. I guess because of all the wires running from where it used to be into the cellar. You reckon I know something about it? You think maybe I stole the terminal and I'm now using it to run a pirated trans environment for profit? Uh, maybe? Huh, you're pretty sharp. Yeah, that's exactly what he's doing. So you don't trance, bro? So you're not wired? You can't connect? Nope. Been allergic to neural wiring since the war. This seems like a strange thing to be doing then, running a trance den. You can't even experience the world you've built for these people. Means I can't get addicted to it either. Yeah, That's kind exactly. of insurance. You think pushers do their own drugs? No, they don't. Yeah, so that explains why he can't hack the water himself. Because he can't go into the trance. What's with the antenna? The one under the neon lights? Not everyone here is a local. Some people ain't lucky enough to live in a city like Newton. International connections? Exactly. People in Newton can join this hub through the net. Some states, they monitor the usual net connections. So, they bounce the connection in via satellite. What are other countries monitoring for? Greater Hand likes to control the news and history. Concord is looking for anti-corporate opinion. Eurofed has strict definitions about what counts as acceptable entertainment. That's barbaric. Defeats the point of the net, doesn't it? But thanks to Pirate Net, they can never stop the signal. <laughs> Pirate Net. All right, I We're guess hanging I'm... around. All right. I'll... I guess I'm going into the thing. The antenna just from the wall is sufficiently high to enhance its signal gain, though low enough to hide it. If cells should make a patrol in the neighborhood, place just outside your reach. Oh, so well, there's not much I can do about it. With the... All right, let's use the crowbar on the manhole. I'm just gonna go into the sewers, it's where I live. It's like, okay lady, whatever. 
Kind of a weird, like, sewer thing. This I'm not strong enough to open it with my bare hands. Is this a stream game? What do you mean? Oh, no, it's a Steam game. Yes, it's on Steam. A steel grate, as rusted as everything else down here. Looks like it covers the access to the I think it's on shaft. GOG as well. I think you could also get it off their website. Here, let's use the crowbar on the grate. Alright, panel cover. It's old and rusty, but still locked. Oh, we got a crowbar. It's the ultimate unlocking tool. Authorized users, uh, utility terminals carry a penalty of imprisonment and reconditioning. Okay. This utility panel controls the flow of resources to the buildings in this neighborhood. Do, 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 do. Let's use the wit wear on it. Too easy. All too easy. Oh, shit. Hazard list. I'm assuming this is kind of a puzzle as well, right? This place has its water wrong, but not its not its power. Did crashing a car accomplish anything? It allowed me to uh, get to the manhole and then gave me the um, crowbar. Substance have been detected in the city's wall. What? Issued our unacceptable. Please download the latest priority list and calibrate your equipment appropriately. Okay. Download hazard substances. I guess I shouldn't fuck with this until I figure some stuff out, huh? Look at this. Substance index. Can't use. What do you mean the can't use? The city's list of current hazardous chemicals to watch out for in the water supply. It's got chemical markers, formulas, and breakdowns for programming scanning tools with what they're looking for. Oh, okay. Source factory discharge. All right, Benzi benzene. Sulfuric acid, source acid rain, okay. Estrogen, source plastics disposal. Okay, so three things I'm guessing. I guess I'm going down the shaft, because why not? Oh, I made it in anyways. I didn't have to turn on your stupid water supply, ha ha. Yeah, it's basically yeah, it's what I expected, I guess. So there's a terminal, they all link up, they all got their wetware and, and buckets yeah, over mine's here. Mine's fresher. Besides, everyone else will have been sticking their fingers in that stuff. I know, yuck. What if I just walk up the stairs and the guy's like, hey man. Maybe I should turn on the water here, let me... I, I don't know what place this is, though. There's always yes. Alright, so... 870 does not have power, but it has water. One of these places is the... You know what? Fuck it. Turn them off. So there's two ways to do this puzzle. Uh, let's go and talk to the dude then. Can I go in? You got the water going again, so yeah. We got all we need for more wet wear. Quit hanging around. All right, all right, I'm going. What else? Okay, I can't exit the screen, so the only place I can go is the trans den. Oh, I got another achievement for going in that way. All right, cool. So there's two ways to solve that puzzle. I don't think it matters. I don't think I can talk to these guys. They're in the trans. Pipes. With built up pressure. Okay. Yo, wake up. Hey. Nope, he's under. Yep, they're all under. It's really, really uncool to steal from someone who's in the trance. And since I'm really cool. I'm something serious. Huh. She doesn't even have anything on her. It's almost hey. like all the shit they care about is in nope, the trance. Nothing. Here's an Ankh. Terminal. 
wires. What else can I click on? Wetware. Got this injector. Now empty after giving Guy his dose. Can I put wetware I in the injector? Inject okay. I was wondering. I don't think you could do that, but, you know. There's vent. Oh, vent just allows me to exit. IV drip. Here we go. Here's something. I can't just yank it out. I have no idea what that'll do to him. He's enhancing his experience with a side of intravenous drugs. The IV bag says it's epinephrine. Alright, can we use the injector on that? Doesn't work like that. It's for putting stuff in, not sucking it out. Well, shit! It's not compatible. Here, put it in his it's IV trip. Oh, yeah, I figured. It's not... I can't reach any of its control surfaces. There's a centimeter thick layer of other people's wetware Ugh. covering its surface. It's not compatible. But it's also not compatible. Ugh. A public access terminal covered in other people's wetware. From the cables running up the stairs, I guess it's been liberated off the street. I can't reach any of its control surfaces. There's a centimeter thick layer of other... Use crowbar. Okay, there we go. Now I can reach its surface. I don't know why I'm putting this it's in there. It's not compatible. Oh, but it's not compatible, so how's that going on? City of Newton Public Access, Users Online, Fearless Phil, Vomitor, Mosin Nugget, Gandalf, Gandarf, New User One, and Spark Wings. Connection blocks. Should I block out all their connections? That's the only thing I can do. What the what? Okay. So apparently Greenland got really big in the future, like huge. Local anesthetic by dentists also they're used for allot to bee stings. Oh, okay. Why are we blocking off South America? Here, can I? There you go. Wait. Oh, it's oh, it's a puzzle. I can only block off one thing. Federal Republic of Brazil. Union of Lat Lat Latin America. What is this place? Caribbean Commonwealth. USA California Concord. USA Atlantic. Canadian Republic. Greenland. European Federation. Russian Federation. Eco Wars. Eco Waz. Federation of South African States. Mushariki Majiwa. Dena Treaty Union. Looks like the Middle East sorted itself out somehow. South Asian Cooperative. People's Republic of China. Looks like People's Republic. Looks like China rebelled at some point. Greater Han Republic. Does that include Japan? Japan. No, Japan's still just Japan. Texas got absorbed by California. Yeah, I guess so. Maybe Texas is part of the Caribbean Con- No, actually, no. It, it became- You think it would have been the Texas Concordia? Greater Han Republic. Oceana Partnership. Well, at least I get to know all that stuff, but... Alright, I don't know what I'm doing with that. Just yet. I guess maybe I should go in there? I'm not supposed to, according to that. Oh, look at my emails again. Or maybe there's stuff I can do in here now. Oh, I got this substance index. I can put it nowhere, so it's cool. Didn't sell. No, no trans connections before our meeting. Or maybe that w that applies to like something that happened later. Well, let's go into into the terminal.
All right, so I got access to the to the web. Ah, oh, perfect. It's just VR chat. Excellent. Hey, games. Hit. Spark wings. New user. I've got to talk to new user number one. Hi there. Looks like they're having fun. Oh man, no wonder why people are addicted to this. Amazing! Looks like they're having fun. Hi there. <laughs> Look, you could be a, a floating head or, you know, whatever the fuck this is. Hi there. So they just hang out in trans, but they don't socialize? VR chat, everyone! Look at my like avatar! Symbolic self-expression. Just talk about me. Looks like they're having fun. How come I can like, I can figure that guy out, but not the other guys? Hey guys, hey, check out the substance index. What do you think of this? Hi there. Looks like they're. Ah, oh, that's all I can do. There's a pit. Maybe I can talk to Gandor. Gandor. What? What's up? If you must know, I'm partaking in the digital experience. Apparently, more vivaciously than you. How do you figure? You're just standing, floating there. I... It, hey, shut up! You're ahead. You're ahead. Very astute. And you're behind. Oh, no, damn. I mean, you're just a floating head. Why are you just a floating head? Because unlike some people, I'm choosing to take the trance to its full potential. We can look like whatever we want, but some people just look like... <laughs> Maybe. Ooh, human body, two legs, two arms. How original. I well, then why not be like a spider yeah, or something? It's so limited, though. A giraffe. It's like you have no imagination. Hey, who are you calling a realist? All right. Ciao. Bye. Well, I got to get ready for work, so we're going to have to end it here. trans we'll call it that but thanks everyone for joining me thanks for hanging out i'll try to play this again tomorrow before work but we'll see i might be too tired but i'll try to find more free time i've gotten more time off um so that's that should help with uh with getting energy but thanks for being here thanks kirk cool beans thanks bard zerker lusty bard uh, never conquer anyone who's lurking i appreciate it and i'll see you guys next time on the Ultra Show. All right, let's stop this stream. Here we go.